they play the Enchantress bottom. I don't think Shadow Demon is strong enough early on. And I'm saying that with a lane that just they can and just have Void play alone. Completely alone and get as much as he can against this. Team Spirit again, try and contest the bottom rune. So they're actually making a play for both S4 as well as Afterlife for battle for the top rune. We'll keep our eyes at the bottom as Loda. Oh, they put EGM on the cliff and Ramsey, he's stuck on top of the hillside. I was watching EGM before up there and now Ramsey has no way down. He's cliffed as a gyrocopter at 11 mana. So he can't harass into Iceberg at the moment. And uh, well, they go for it. That is not where you want to be. You always want to play. He's already used his Volus, so there's no easy escape. Goblet's gonna rotate over two. He's got disruption and catch it, but now you go for another double Hadouken with a tether fort from EGM with a spirit damage. They've got the kill. There's no way Goblet can survive. Even that before rotates over. They'll disrupt up, but first blood is spilled by Alliance. So not only do they. Oh wow, Arflight. No, he didn't just use that. He just used Time Walk as Arcade comes in behind. Arflight has no way to escape this with a scream, the damage into the trees. S4 gets an easy kill. Two creeps are going to deal a lot of damage to this tower if I can keep it up. Loda at the same time he has And uh, Loda, uh, goodbye always going to fly. He's going to try and go for the kick. This one's done with the boulder. He can't go far enough away. EGM just... On Earth Spirit and Shadow Demon. This is the kind of play that just has to work out. They're rotating to mid, Iceberg is setting up. Uh, the kick's off target though. And they just dropped over on the Wisp, but Loda then just initiates onto Iceberg. As Loda, oh, oh, very deep underneath the town. EGM's gonna tether himself forward, but RK, he rotated over, which means they're gonna guarantee kill over on Iceberg. EGM, he is low, but like, this is your two supports that committed a smoke gang trying to kill off the Wisp. He almost gets mined up by the Black Dragon. It's not possible. Loda still going ham for Ramsey. That's the bigger rotation. The toss back and Loda, he walks into the cooldown. Great put in a bit more of a random position. And with the rotation in from the Faceless Void, he'll... Mm -hmm. And it really impacted the... They're gonna go on S4. Chrono straight up. Don't give S4 time to get out there with the cooldown and walk for Raj. Really nice position from Arflight, we actually gave enough space with that Cronus. Are they looking to go mid? Uh, Goblack, he gets the disruption off. The catcher as well is going to land on the loader and then the Cronus Spear. He's going to cancel the, the uh, aggressive TP in from Matt Rapolo. Tries to take Loda, the raw, hits on the face of Void, but that's that four! The huge Sonic Wave hits! The range is all out of still did do a lot of work and the loader tiny is down. But S4 taking too much damage from Ramsey's with a scream, the one charges. There are enough to keep Ramsey's alive. RK and Bulldog hot on the trail, however. The kick will come through from Moyes when a fly, but it's a little bit too late. While well, Afterlife is. Oh, it's actually a good time. That's a really big whip. This gives so much information over to Alliance. They're actually feeling all the time. And three of them. Ramsey's kind of getting close up to one of the Raj. EGM is low. He still gets he will go down and be tossed around S4. Another double kill on these fights. Half-Life, he wants a time walk away, and he's going to be able to. They're getting all of that damage of Alliance. Robbie's going to wait another two seconds before he can do it again, and two seconds is too long. It's now 12 to 6. There are other higher priorities for S4, but... Well, oh, Half-Life's going to be one of them. Can't time walk himself away. Shadow Strike with nice ball down. A perfect three, and it has a Cronus Spear. It only catches Arcane, but with a Boulder forward... Okay, okay, maybe it wasn't that great. They lose two in return for it. The Beastmaster, well, it looks like Bulldog tried to come in from behind. Iceberg can Look at himself out this one. Oh. Ramsey is getting rid of the Necro units and maybe he will. 13 HP. The Shadow Strike will fly for the vision game of Team Spirit. And now they're actually trying to play against it. it. They smoke up. Oh, this is a very interesting aggressive smoke here for the top lane. They're assuming someone's going to go and defend against Loda. And they actually have a very good flank move prepared. Oh, the boy. The boy's dead. Um, Raw's been committed. Oh, they're making sure he can't time walk out there. And the Orc is able to ensure that. There. They might still go. The boy, without the void, it's very difficult to use. Oh, they actually just get him a freebie. Oh, they're going to go for the kick. Always the fly can't find him. Space with a call down with the kick. That's a big one with Pansy. The black can not work for Sun Strike. They'll pick up EGM. Arkin will go down too. They basically got magnetized into a horrible position. And Alliance lose three. The kick will be a little bit off target as S4 jukes it around the tree line. Is he looking for a revenge? He's got Sonic Wave and always want to fly walking up against the Observer Ward. So they can see him. And yep, always want to fly is going to go down. S4 just looking to pick off the pieces. He ain't a seagull. And with a sonic wave, oh, that's more! He goes deeper and goes for more! Now the boy's gonna crow him, but where's the support? The sun strike's gonna hit hard, they need a good time lock in this one, and S4, can he get away? Behold, S4, he can't get out in time! 
Over 1.1k gold goes away a faceless boy. That's holding it pretty, yeah. They've gained quite a bit of gold their last few minutes. They're just out farming them. So, that boy's gonna get out there right now. Beastmaster, blink, roar. The next units were still up. Originally, I think these guys were only intended to. Don't lose the opportunity. Half life, holy blink. Forward, catch the Beastmaster. I spoke on the edge of the corner sphere, but the king's still gonna kick him perfectly. And more, a nice link wave, but they relocate loader in. The Magnetize might be down, but the BKB will protect him. As if now, okay, there's that four. He's chasing up Red. What's the big kill? He wants the Gyrocop to everyone else. It's just like, well, it's a consolation prize. The Blink 4 from S4, he's got him. The Shadow Strike will connect. Ramsey's attempts to TP out in time, and he's actually oh, going to the fighting course of that. S4 blinks in. Iceberg's there with a cold snap. Earthbrew will now fight back to Iceberg. There's just so much damage coming out from RK. Those lancers just flying. So four heroes lost for Team Spirit. The giant but alliance already smoked to prepared for this. Loader is the poison from Bob like a kind of bit of a scout. Falls on with the call down. And he can take her units off, but where is that chronosphere? Hasn't come out just yet. Is that the use that magnetizes Ramsey's RK? There's four just tries to man mode against, but it's RK with the damage from range doesn't work. And now the chronosphere kicks in. But RK as well as EGM, they're playing the combo game. It's actually the game right there. They've lost four heroes, they've lost five heroes. A triple kill for S4. The only sacrificial lamb was Admiral. I think even a perfect combo is still the boss. But it was the only thing he can And try and have a crack to load up. Oh, the tether. EGM tries to serve him. He doesn't have to relocate the drop on the load up. It's a fair chunk of damage, 80. Seconds on the sideline for him, and S4 also blinks at the tree line. Like a quick poison from Gold like Tornado, just a second too late. Lane up here. Hello, top lane, S4. Nice S4's gonna go down. Like, this is what they wanted to do in the mid lane. But, Team Spirit, this time for the first time, they're actually gonna be defending with five players inside their base. The drops is already over on Loader. I think he'll start with a purge as well. On the Loader, the Randy follows up. Where's that corner? It caught EGM and he gets Loader, however. And the Sonic Wave from his four is almost all of Team Spirit. Can't fly the side to Arcane, but they've lost practically everything. Randy cannot defend this by himself. Buyback's on not. GG is the call. Alliance will end up doubling the kills of Team Spirit, taking him 36 minutes. 32 to 16. They were the favorites for this game, but it wasn't a simple affair. No, they looked very dominant in the early game. That was the alliance I was expecting to see. But then they made a, they gave Team Spirit a little bit of space and made a couple of 